Oh, do you have this one for me as well? The last and last one, actually. Alright, let's get some Dr. Pepper. Oh wait, we only got two bicycles and we are with three people. I know something! Let's saw a bike in half and put an extended frame and we can all sit on the frame. And then we go to the supermarket. Let's do that. We will make a bike out of this. It's Corona time, which means you cannot be closer than one and a half meter here in the Netherlands. But we still want to transport four people at the same time. That's why we need four and a half meters of bike. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. The next day, we found ourselves back on the internet. Rolf Hutt, scientist and columnist, had seen us writing and was curious to see what we were creating. Loads of people commented and of course, we were requested to show the end result. It was therefore time to thoroughly clean up our workshop and get some momentum behind the project. This is easy. To do this build fast, we split ourselves up in two teams, Team Wood and Team Metal. Of course, I had to be in Team Metal. Meanwhile, at Team Wood, everything was peaceful and calm. This thing is called a pocket hole jig and it makes drilling angled holes very easy. That's coming together beautiful boys. Dit this thing won't come off. Grote meneer poel trekken. Daar gaat hij, de OG of dit gaat niet passen. We are here at the site of the construction of the Quarantendo. Hope that.
rechts, rechts, rechts. Links, links, links. Ho, ho, ho. And now for the real first outdoor test. Something happened. It's not entirely straight anymore. Uh, yeah. This is the problem. It's a bit uh, flexy. So we found ourselves a new front fork, and we decided to put a 26-inch wheel in because it might be just a bit stronger. As you can see, we added as many structural reinforcements as our budget would allow. By this time we had practiced a few minutes, so we decided we found it responsible to go in the city traffic of Harlem. Let's go! We're gonna... Oh, Jasper is using his shoes now. Those are effective brakes, you know? Stop strapping! Alright, let's do this! Holy shit! We are in the traffic now, ladies and gentlemen. This is Moses Palik. This is other people on the bike. A scooter, Jasper, weet je naar rechts? The supermarket is that way, right? Yes. There is a Dr. Pepper ahead. We can already smell it. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, 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 let's go. Are you alright, Daniel? Oi! That was traffic. Oh, oh man. The car. I'm doing some sightseeing guys, is that alright? Can you just power on? <laughs> the Set the feet up here. Put the bike in the rack. Perfect. No one will steal this thing. Let's find some Dr. Pepper. Life is good guys. Oh, there's a lot of hobbles here. Ik ga even drinken. Oh no, red lights. Oh, holy shit. We just switched roles. Now Daniel is third man and I have to pedal. You know, that's life when you're gonna get some Dr. Peppers. Suddenly, Rolf Hut asked if he could come ride on the bike, so we did another grand tour through Haarlem in search for happiness in times ruled by Corona.
Ik heb het een beetje scheef te raken. Het is dood, denk ik. Je hebt nul invloed. Het is echt super. Lekker warm om te trappen. Lekker warm om te trappen. Ja, die jongen moet alles in zijn trappen. Guys, do not forget to check out Rolf's channel, website and other socials. He is a genius. He builds the most random stuff ever, including, but not limited to, supermarket trolley water balloon trebuchets, hot dog electrocute festival stand machines, flashlight projectors, is this a prime, machines, animated LED longboards, the most ridiculous Arduino stuff, and many more. Moreover, he has been on national television multiple times, has written interactive articles for national newspapers, and this is just the beginning. Just go and check it out for yourselves. The links are in the description. Luckily, the police was too busy to notice us. Oh my god, wow, that's one of the most ridiculous bikes I've ever ridden. And I've ridden a lot of ridiculous bikes. Let's drink some Dr. Pepper. Alright guys, that was the car on tandem. This was actually amazing. I can imagine you've got some questions, so I will answer a few of them right now. So how long did it take to build this thing? Let's say two, three evenings, Thank four you. hours, an evening, around 12 hours. Is that a... Around 12 hours, which includes testing in our high-end testing, testing facility. facility. Right. Uh, Dr. Pepper, sponsor <laughs> us, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> How many times did it break? I think it only broke twice. No, three times. Three times. First we, well, you saw in the video, but we, we drove along and suddenly <laughs> the entire front <laughs> fork twisted like whoop. So we had to carry it back. The second time the rear broke off. Then we had to repair it with more lovely brackets. Countless of steers broke off. Oh yeah, there are some steers that broke off because of my <laughs> ingenuity with the welding machine. Why four persons? Well, our, work, our workshop was not longer than six meters, yeah. so we couldn't <laughs> build it any longer. Like, how do you get it in and out of your workshop? As some of you know, we have a workshop in an old school building. So there's no direct entrance from the outside. There's no garage doors or anything. So if we want to bring it in, we have to go there through that door. And then we have to either break it apart or actually there's another door there. We can literally direct it directly over this railing into the, into the workshop. We have to sort of maneuver it like, like this because it can't make the bend. So also we don't know what to do with it afterwards. So if you want this bike, I can imagine you want this just to enjoy a ride with your friends on a lovely Saturday evening. You can come and get it. Subscription discount. You can get it for to be determined and a half euros. Yeah, you want this. Alright, that's it for today guys. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please consider liking or subscribing. That would help us out a lot. Then we can do a lot more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.